What is up guys? So today um, we're going to smash a few plastic bottles. Um, so the bottom drawer is empty because we've got some in the back I'm going to show you. So um, let's go ahead and get started showing you what we're going to do. I went guys means we did yesterday. We got more big ones. I think I'm going to do some of the slow motion. I'm kind of thinking about it. So the first one we're going to do is that little 12 ounce or 8 ounce right there. And then we're going to do all these 16 ounces all in there and then down here there's all 16 ounces as well and I don't think there's anything in this bottom door I can think of no there's not we we'll have to go to the back here again we're gonna put all of our um, broken plastic in this thing again this is all the lids I've collected right here I'm gonna have it well, I'm gonna have a video one day about the lid collection and this is my desk. This is where I record and do all that. I set my com computer, uh, iPad right there and I record what all happens. And this is my, uh, this hand sanitizer bottle is about empty. This hand sanitizer bottle. And that's my one that's more full. That's my drink, my lemonade. That's my phone. And this is, uh, this is just some extra parts like tape measure, grooves cut off, and then a, a lid thing that I can't decide what to do with. And then I've got the rubber things that we pulled off the yesterday still on my table. Once again, when we're done, all that goes in that bin right there and then gets put away. And all these are going to be smashed as well. So after we get done with the cart, we're going to have this, this 20 ounce right here being smashed. And then I finished the 2 liters, so we're going to do that. There's two half gallons here, and then we got 3 liters, and then we got gallons right there. So I think we'll at least have a slow motion on each one of them. I keep some styrofoam cups right here for some reason I'm not sure why but I do and then my trash can and then I've got my paper towels and then my chair that's why I sit and usually I'm usually the fan out here but today it is I run the cord all the way um, to right there so now I'll go ahead and set my camera up we'll go ahead and get started I wanted to show you kind of how I set this up and can barely see it like where to set it up and barely I can barely see like all right so right there's where I'll be smashing them and want to the impact to go out there so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and get this bottle and smash it it is a um, ocean spray diet cranberry it's 10 ounces by the way so that's 10 calories, it's a great start, a little bottle. It's, it's smaller than a, um, what's again, I do it. Just the smallest bottle we have for today. Um, it's smaller than the 12 ounce bottles that we did yesterday, so. We're going to smash it right now. Hold on, I'm going to try it on the Okay, we're going to smash it right there. Let's show you the damage. So the bottom is cracked. It's pretty bad. As you can see, the bottom. The bottom is destroyed on this one. And the logo's coming off, so we're going to take the logo off. And by the way, I went to the dump this morning. I took all the plastic we did yesterday to the dump. And all the trash, like the broken lids, all that's gone today. So we can start fresh and start refilling the recycle bin. That's back in my backyard. So, anyway, the bottom of this one's broken, but the lid, uh, the lid survived. The top survived. It's just the bottom that got broke. So, the lid's good. And I put my lids in this thing. I just showed you where I keep that, my tape measure on, and then later I'll put them in the bin. Because it's hard to get, like, cause there's so many lids in there, it's just hard to get down to the... I have them sorted by color and size and all that. It's hard to get uh, to the uh, the white colored lids. So next we're going to do a flimsy water bottle, a 16 ounce bottle. It is a uh, food club, natural spring water. Again, this is water I filled up out of the sink. It's 16 ounces. Um, it's kind of like the crystal guys we did yesterday, but it's a little bit more sturdier. 
I bet it still won't survive, though. It may, I don't know. But let's try this first. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh my goodness. That one did not survive at all. I can already tell. I can come open. Okay, so, anyway, this is what the lid came off of. The groove and the dial and the lid are all together, so I'm going to carefully remove the dial, and the dial's good off of it, it survived. But the lid, the groove is attached to it. I don't know if I can take the lid off or not. Yeah, I can. It survived. I can take it off. But anyway, this groove part just broke off of the um, the uh, bottle. So the bottle's destroyed. The bottom's cracked. And um, the top is just open in two. And I might as well take the logo off because it's about off anyway. So this one is... You do not want to count on Food Club on surviving water bottles. They do not survive. They probably have the worst damage ever. So, if you're planning on doing a smash test on these Food Clubs, I would, I would, um, I would make sure like that they're somewhere they're not going to be smashed. Because I mean, if they are, they're not. They're most likely not going to survive. So, I mean, they're not like them crystal geysers we did yesterday. That crystal geyser it survived. I mean, that broke all to pieces. I mean, the whole top's open, man. All right, let's go ahead and do a 7-Up Zero bottle. Here's what it looks like. Go ahead and smash it. Three, two, one. Ooh. It got all over me. Here's some pieces I found. Anyway, um, the lid is cracked and destroyed, as you can see. Not good. And the grooves attached to it also, so the lid didn't survive. And the top is also destroyed pretty bad. The groove is just breaking all together. We probably hadn't had a 7 0 break this much ever. Like, it's been a while since we've had one break this much like this. And then the bottom is also destroyed, so this one did not survive at all. So, shame on you. And we got some more covering gaps, unfortunately. Even though I got worn out with these yesterday, we got more uh, to do um, today. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, here's another one, by the way. We had a bunch of these yesterday and we got some today, so we're going to get these knocked out. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, here's the dial. Alright. Here is the broken sediment up dial I found. And, anyway, the bottle was cracked on the bottom pretty bad because the water shot out right off the bottom. And the top is also destroyed because the groove is coming loose from the top. And I'm going to see if I can get the lid off, if not off to cut it. The lid survived it. It's just cracked and not cracked, but scuffed a little bit. So I think we'll keep it. 
Anyway, yep, it, it got destroyed pretty good, so it's not a survivor. Let's go ahead and get another one. Here's another one right here. Alright, so I'm going to show you how big this piece that just come out of this. This is how big the piece that fell out that just shot out Cumber and Gap. I mean, that is huge. And I'm going to show you what it looks like without it in there. Look at that. That huge piece just shot out of there. The water just comes straight out. I mean, that, matter of fact, if I can still get it out of the garbage, I can still see if it, if it fits. Does it, or is it a, am I making a mistake? I can't tell, but I think it goes in there. I'm not sure, but if you can't fix it though, you can't fix it. But yeah, anyway, the it's destroyed. It ain't, it didn't survive at all. And the top, the top looks good. Just the lid. Let me take the lid off. Lid's not even scuffed. I mean, it it did good. So this one did pretty good, except that bottom impact. That's all. And let's go ahead and get another one. Here it is. Here's what it looks like. One, smash it. Three, two, one. Oh. Alright, I thought that water went over here, but it didn't. Alright, so here's a piece I found. On the way. That piece about came out of this one. Look there. Look at it. I mean, it was about, it about came loose. Look at that. It was that close. I can stick my hand in there. It was about that close to cut it right out. And the lid, it is scuffed all over. The lid... It did good. Alright, we'll do another one and then we'll go on to part two. Here's another coloring gap. I don't know what just went over here. But anyway, the bottom is destroyed. Pretty bad, as you can see. And the lid, let's take a look at it. Lid's okay. Anyway, the bottom's all just destroyed, as you can see. All right, it's, I think we'll do another one real quick, and then we'll go back to part two. So there's another one. Let's get this thing in three, two, one. take a look at it real quick all right here the grooves attached this lid once again the grooves attached to it I can't fix it you, you can barely see it but it's in there so that's trash and I removed the dial just now and the dial did good but the groove is destroyed the top is also destroyed on this one it's destroyed pretty bad matter of fact that piece just came off that could definitely can't be fixed now and the logo can just come right off of this one. And the bottom is also destroyed on this one. So this one did not survive at all. And way back on part two.